Oh, so you like content, do you, you dirty little filthy creature? Huh? You like content? Name every piece of content. Well, you just happen to be a lot, because it just so happens I'm producing a lot of content. Not only do you have Rimworld, you know that because you're watching it right now. That one's fairly obvious. Three hours after this episode releases, Elder Kings. That's right, we're starting a new series on the main channel. Stay tuned. Yeah, maybe you're thinking, oh, I don't like I don't like Crusader Kings. Ah, it's not for me. I don't want to watch that. That's boring, man. I want more Colony Simulator games. Well, guess what? On the second channel by this time has gone up. Dwarf Fortress. I didn't put that on the main channel because A, it's too much content, but B, I don't know what I'm doing, so. I mean, maybe you could argue it'd be perfectly at home here on the main channel. Oh, but I don't like Rimworld, the Elder Kings of Dwarf Fortress. Well, guess what? Over on the Elise and Sam channel, there's still Pokemon, but that's been going on for a while. Hello, welcome to Rimworld. What is it? Dragons? Well, well, yes, actually. Lots of dragons everywhere. And that thing, whatever that is. Today, we take all of those items, all of that experience, all those legendary relics, and we put it to good use because today it begins. We are going to get ourselves one of those rare missing relics and we are going to give it to our people. And we do that by slaying some of the hardest to kill creatures here on this very fine rim. Big old dragons. I'm not sure how well a shirtless long haired man is going to do against an enormous fire breathing slash acid breathing dragon. A dare. Ooh, Rita, Rita, Rita. Let's go and grab that. That would be a nice friend. Now, these dragon slaying quests are going to appear very quickly, very frequently, but they're also going to disappear very frequently. Dragons are very fleeting things, and the second we get some information to kill a dragon, we're going to go and kill a dragon, damn it. Grigna, Rita, Phil, you take Thrombrain, you take Roach, and you take Horse, the Thrombo. And then you don't come home until you've slain that dragon. What I do need to recap, though, is somebody said that instead of selling your Silver Bowls, why don't you try taking apart your Silver Bowls and get the resources out of them? Now, it's loot. I feel bad about raiding our vault to take loot apart, but when we've got more loot than we can actually store in the vault... I feel like that's sensible, right? We make sure everything's clean, we put everything on display, and then we can fill the vault up. Honestly, I feel like the vault would look nicer having enormous piles of silver and gold rather than just a bunch of a bunch of various trinkets. And everything else is practically running itself now. McCall runs the castle. She's doing a great job of keeping, well, I mean, maybe a little bit too much of a great job given the amount of food that we've got excess. We haven't got to do anything. She also cooks it all. That keeps everybody happy. We've got the medicine production. Jeb is running the inn pretty damn well. We've got good food actually coming in from this one for a nice change of pace. We've got plenty of alcohol to serve the guests. And look, it's making a good amount of cash too. The only thing we really have to pay attention to in between the dragon hunting is making sure that Grigna Jr. is getting a good education. And from the looks of it, I think it's fairly safe to say Grigna Jr. is getting a good education. Now, Sebastian's going to need a few more levels to be able to build a couple of portals. Bear in mind, that was kind of the big thing we did yesterday. A portal taking ingredients back and forth between them. I want to build one that can suck I, a, a portal to suck items over from the castle to here. And then I want one that can send for items from the castle to here. So we're going to need a separate portal network. Maybe, hey, right on cue, we decide to finally make Grigna Jr. some clothes. We've also got meat drying. That's good. We decide to finally make this child some bloody clothes. I love that Grigna Jr. is already level 5 melee. Oh, my God. Growth tier 1. Hey, that's nice. Uh, you're doing non-stop recreation. Is someone going to, like, train you? Do you tr what, what's the word? Teach. Teach. That's, you teach children. Very good. Definitely don't use the word train to talk about your children. So to take on the dragon, we have... Oh, Lord. Is that the dragon? Wyvern. Oh, that doesn't seem too bad. Okay. I, I presume it can be any of the dragon-esque creatures. Ooh, loot. Lusty Sword Made Volume 2. We've got Phil, the social expert. We have Rita, the uh, bug that's horrified of fire. And Grigna, the naked man here to hunt a dragon. You might say, poor squad. To be fair, though, Rita got that metamorphosis potion yesterday, making her fire immune. She is completely fireproof. No flammability, no flame damage. She just, she just hates fire. She might have a mental breakdown if she sees it. Not that it's any threat to her. Grigna, it's time. Grigna, I want you to uppercut that dragon for me. Go. Kapow. It's Grigna time. E I think Grigna's taking damage from friendly fire, more so from the dragon. Oh my god. I think we're going to be totally fine. We, we have this Wyvern in just like total lockdown. Grigna's slamming it with his big magic hammer. The poor thing can't react because Phil is just like volleying it non-stop. Oh, Phil should be using his medium power. Look, the... the the lowest spell that he's got there isn't doing any anything for his load. We can use the medium pretty much non-stop too. You are stunning Grigna, but you are stunning the dragon, which I feel like is a much bigger victory. Holy crap. We just bullied that dragon. We just straight bullied that man. I mean, don't don't 
still get me, get me wrong here. Rita probably helped out enormously given that she's got that very powerful bow and all of her gear is based on archery, right? We could kill the Wyvern. Or we could tame the Wyvern. Why not? Knock it down, patch it up. Maybe it respects our strength. We also got another Pandora's box and another Dice of Chaos. Ah, oh, good. I think we'll roll one of those. Scooty, let's crack that open. Let's just see what happens. This squad, I think, is probably good enough at this point to defend whatever Chaos comes from doing this. Ah. Uh, mad Wild Boar. Feralist Clutch Mother. Mad Ibex Doe. It just drove some animals mad. Okay, was that it? Oh, I wasn't too bad at all. Oh, wait, there's people here. Wood elves. Oh, man, they look cool. Look at that gear. Hold on, you said mad. Oh, there's the mad boar. Why are the elves here? I want your clothes. Scooty, it's time to blow up some eyeballs. <laughs> your favorite thing to do. Uh, let's get a little closer. Wood elves. Big rangers. Probably not going to be too happy about us blowing up their eyeballs. Don't you shoot Scooty. No. No. I said blow up eyeballs. Not blow up everything. Yep. Well, I'll teach you a lesson. No, you've already blown up their eyeballs. There are no other balls to blow up. Well, there might be. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> it's just, they just don't stop. It just doesn't. Oh! They're a mage. I may have consigned Scooty to death. Um, Go down fighting. <laughs> run, Scooty. Oh, run, Scooty. We got the elves, but we also pissed off an enormous spider. Yes, there we go. Oh, Kazoos is here. Kazoos, I need your lightning. I need your lightning. Get him. Oh, save your man. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Now the spider from the other side. What have I done? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Take two. Yes. Okay, we're good. Get Scooty out of there. We need to add, like, our postern gate. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Like, defend. Oh, you died once. Please don't die again. Kill the spider. Kill the spider. I've given her the double, double damage. Come on, put that adrenaline to good use. You got a ver Oh, there we go. Yeah, not a problem. Oh, we have a prison. Of course we have a prison. I totally forgot that I built that. Ah, oh, well, there we go. We can turn that back into... Can we do something better for medical? Because I feel like we've been we've been quite close to dying with a couple of people on the, uh, on the whole infection front. I mean, to be fair, though, what we've got... At this point, I'm fairly comfortable, unless the dragons are a little more random than I anticipated. I'm fairly comfortable to say that, look, let's get out there. Let's send the next squad after the next dragon. So we want to get these quests as soon as possible. We send uh, the old squad, the shock squad. That's right. I'm going to let you also take this giant bear. Uh, what's the riding speed on that? 160%. Oh, yeah, shit. Let's take that then. We also need to tame more animals. So I've got to keep an eye out with Rita for anything that we can. Oh, we need another tent. Well, you'll manage. Because if we can get 160% speed caravans for all the caravans, we're going to be able to actually keep on top of these quests a lot more casually rather than hyper focused dedicating the whole time to clearing quest after quest oh the wyvern went hostile because it's permanent uh, was it like scarier maybe i guess because it's a quest creature oh my wyvern friend all right off you go then fill draft up read to draft up <laughs> we went out to hunt a dragon so we dragged the dragon kicking and screaming here Brilliant. Well done. Good work. Maybe we could, I don't know, taxidermy it or something. Oh, I think you'll find it's a wither, not a dragon. Yeah, you're a dragon. You're a dragon. How about that? So this creature that we're going to fight next is the enormous, uh, I think it was called a fiend, right? The enormous muscle-bound thing. So I couldn't think of anything more appropriate than Grigna facing it down. This would be kind of a fun one to do solo, but you know what? These teams, teams that stick together stay together. Is that an expression? It is now. I've got no food for you. Well, I do. <laughs> Goo -goo <gaga. laughs> hey, uh, Sebastian, I don't, what, are you, what are you researching right now? Me no, we don't need medicine. I'll tell you what we do need. Uh, ooh, steel was on there. Ooh, high elf equipment. Oh my god, look at that stuff. That's amazing. We give all the, uh, I think the other stuff was like dark elf equipment. Give that to one team. Give the high elf equipment to another team. That could look fun. Bees? What I want is, uh, if it's not too much pressure. Oh my god, arcane weapons would be amazing. They look so cool. Uh, if it's not too much pressure, I would love... Food! Food preservation! That's exactly it. There you go. And a dragon just popped up like that one. Um, Gildathas? Oh, that's the elf we must have kidnapped. Gotcha. Yeah, look at that. Another one right there. They are offering us a tome of art and le legendary medicine. You're having a bad time with these dragons, eh? <gasps> the baby. <laughs> I totally forgot the baby. Bones, uh, do me a favor. Hey, I, I appreciate you making the armor and everything. That's fantastic. Um, go get your damn child. I, d I totally forgot it even existed. That is partly on me. Carry baby through the portal. A portal safe for baby? 
I certainly hope so. You you can't carry the baby through the portal. Ah, um, that is a problem. We're gonna have to caravan with the baby. Oh, for God's sake! There we go. One safe baby. Our greatest parents. The greatest parents in the world. Baby, oh, there you go. Okay, so that did count as putting her home. Somebody pointed out that if we've got Grigna Grignison, Grigna Junior, then of course we've gotta have Bones, Bones' daughter. The Bones is daughter a bones junior basically all three of our caravans are about to approach their their relevant monster hunting activity who's that one that's kazoos and friends right oh god okay i think honestly i think out of all the squads this one probably is gonna have the least hassle i think Sirix, scooty and gunty are probably gonna get their cheeks clapped by whatever we're up against it's another one of the wyverns Ooh, loot guarded by a rust monster whatever that is dice of chaos in a treasure chest that's good I mean, also, uh, killing the dragon and saving the people is good, but I do like treasure. Oh, you can snap freeze. Stop. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, carry on, but also, like, snap freeze the bloody thing. Sick, kid. That's it. That easy. Oh, my God. Okay, and then you go berserk, and then you can... Uh, don't even dive in. Just just go and hit it the old-fashioned way. Let's get you closer. Uh, you can start doing regular bolt on it, I think. We don't need chain... We don't need Chain Bolt fighting one enemy. Oh my god! Icicles, lightning bolts, the enormous sword. It's done. It is done. We're very lucky we're getting some of these easier weapons to kick things off. I think instead then we divert Gunty's caravan over to the monster encounter. And then we send this lot over to the... Uh, over to the Viking Grave, see if we can get something cool from that. And because of your very favorite RPG fantasy flavor mod, even if there is a crypto sleep casket, it will all be very suitably medieval themed. We're not going to miss out on any rewards. They're not just going to be removed because they don't fit. Everything is perfectly thematic. Oh, and that's Grignor and Co. at the Fiend. Right now, this one I'm a little bit more concerned about because it did make it to uh, out to be a, a big deal. Uh, it is a big deal. It's actually enormous. I do think Grignor is probably going to be able to... <laughs> Get himself a new hat out of this. Oh! oh no. Oh no. What is this that it do now? It can do hypnosis. I didn't know it do hypnosis. Oh no. Uh. Oh. <laughs> fight back, Grigna. Grigna, fight back. Yes, he fights. He fights back. You fool, your hypnosis isn't good enough to break through Grigna's own moron brain. How do you brainwash that which has no brain? You can't. You can't. I'm glad it didn't immediately make us lose the caravan, though. That's good. As long as it's just a little bit of hypnosis and not... Ah. Oh, my God. This is quite a fight. 81, 85. Oh, shit. Uh... This is doing me a concern. This is going to be right down to the wire. Grigna, we need some big hits here, fella. 68. 75. Grigna's taking the lead. Oh, my God. The difference is Grigna is tough. His bones aren't as breakable. So it's going to take that thing so much more effort to get through. Whereas Grigna, when he starts breaking those bones, it starts hitting less. It can't do that to Grigna. Oh, my God. He's actually going to solo it. He actually soloed it, even without a brain. Oh, my God. I wish I could finish it off, but it's just, it's just down. Come on, snap out of it. Oh my god, and then a mass sky shard impact. Several sky shards have fallen nearby. Hilarious is sky shard. There's a green peak sky shard. In, one near in Continentia, one near the orange glacier. My god. That would be so fantastic. To maybe send, I don't know, Sebastian and Grigna Jr. out on a little adventure together. Please, please calm down. Please chill. 85%. Oh, what do you mean no immediate danger? That sounds pretty immediately dangerous to me. Thing's gonna get back up. Is it healing? 36%. I can't... Oh, God. I can't imagine it's gonna... Shit. Well, that's a problem. Um, It's back up. But it's not hostile anymore, so they're not gonna fight back. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, What's Grigna Jr. being chased by? What? Was that mad... What are you doing? What are you, what are you running away from? We might have to send a rescue caravan over to go save them. Because that thing's just going to wander around now aimlessly. And they're probably going to starve to death. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Who the hell do we send to deal with that, though? What What am I supposed to do? We need someone who's got, like, a... 
total psychic deafness or total magical deafness or something like that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Well, if you three can deal with this dragon, I presume, again, just a regular Wyvern for now. Those will start ramping up soon, so we have to be a little bit careful. Um, if you blow its eyes up, then it probably can't probably can't shoot you with its horrible, stinky breath. Ooh, careful, though. Okay, this is going to be, um, oh, Scooty leveled up. <laughs> oh, uh, the acid keeps going. Minor receiving burn. Blow its eyes up. Nice. You don't need to do it again. It's fine. Um, now just fireball the damn thing. Fireball a wyvern? Does that make sense? Oh, oh, Sirik. Well, at least it's raining, I suppose. Gunsy, uh, do something. Uh, hits it with the, uh, hits it with the rot, I suppose. Well, I'm not gonna lie. This isn't exactly going as smoothly as the others. Oh my god, they've all been hit by acid. What do we do about that? Minor receiving burns. Oh, it, it wears away. It wears away. Okay, that's good. Well, I mean, the, the women is rotting, but it's not really killing it very fast. Oh, God. Sirik's back. Sirik, please start hitting the bloody thing. Um, let me try some different moves out. L yeah, lighting on fire isn't doing a damn thing, Scooty. Stop launching those fireballs. This is not working at all, is it? <laughs> I think we've done more friendly damage than we have to the bloody women at this point. Who is this one? This is... This is the other Karen arriving at the grave. Okay, you know what? Uh, Scooty, here, do me a favor. Take your ring away. Go equip that bludgeon back up. And let's go hit the... Let's go hit the dragon. Just hit the dragon. Stop using magic. It's clearly not working. Eat the dragon. Okay, you lot have got to clear this out fast so that we can... Oh, it's enormous. Well, so much for clearing it out fast then. Holy crap, maybe I should have sent them with an elephant. Um, Where's the way in? Oh, it's here. Ooh, they've done it. You've actually taken it out. Okay, let's finish that off and let's get them to go rescue... Grigna. I worry I may just be sending another squad to their death here, but I mean, what choice have we got? Is that or Grigna and friends starve to death? I succeeded. Oh, were they fought the guardians? Uh, oh, they did. There was one person there. Brown Archaeopteryx. Oh, there better be some good treasure here. Oh, there's, there's bricks. Bricks are always good. Hello. I, I don't think I've ever seen a grave this size before. Oh my god. More bricks. Come on, there's got to be massive treasure here. A building like this. Oh, come on. Look at the entrance. Okay, let's go. Let's go north. The other squad should be moving out. Oh, good lord. Hang on, can I go claim all? It's just gonna get us more when the fog of war wears off. Oh my god. Okay, um, we'll dig them up in a second and defile some graves. See if we can find something from it. Let's set those two permanently stay open. Oh my lord, there's another one. Oh, and there's another corridor after that one. <laughs> I imagine there's probably nothing in the graves worth robbing, but we can still have a look given that we're here. Ooh. Oh, Jade Sarcophagus. I mean, that's a, that's a grave I'll happily defile. Ah, oh, hello there. Lots of gold. Those golden tiles too. Oh my god. And then in this one, we had a load of Jade. Not as good because we'll have to take it apart. And obviously, construction takes quite a long time in in, in this here RPG adventure world. Um, crack it open. I could just claim everything on the map, I suppose. Uh, nothing there. I think that's intentional. Wow, this is some crazy treasure. My only worry is that I am potentially... Exchanging the life of our people for this, given that these are some of our best long-range characters. That's a lot of graves. I'm not going to dig them all up. We'd be here forever, but we could have a look at a few, see if there's any treasure, and then maybe make our, maybe make an informed decision about whether or not we do the rest. Jade sarcophagus, then. Uh, is it just going to be people wearing a bunch of tainted gear? Yes, it is. They have some weapons that we could, we could try and sell off, but I can't imagine we're going to find anything too good. Steel axes. I mean, we could take all the stuff and spell it down, right? I'm going to take apart your graves. Sorry, these are these are very valuable. In fact, the rest of the floor is steel. Oh, sure, take the lot. Why not? This would be a perfect place to come and uh, come and fully take apart if we really wanted to get some. Oh, it's all granite too. What if we uh, What if we take Sebastian and we build a porcel? We'd have to. Oh, you've already got a point. Hold on, upgrade. One sixty-five. We send bones. We send Sebastian. We send little Grigner Junior. We send the baby so that it can be looked after. To take the baby to a grave. That can't backfire. Take the whole thing apart brick by brick, and then we just portal back. You can't send a baby through a portal. Ugh. Um. Crap. Okay. Uh. We just caravan over with Bones and, and Sebastian. Leave little Bones Jr. to be... As long as we've got baby food, and as long as we set someone to childcare, in theory, you'll be fine. Big Uncle Jeb can take care of you, as far as I'm concerned. Where's childcare? Um, you're... You have no skill. Well, sorry. Ohms would be quite angry at you if you messed that up, so no pressure. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send this caravan down. Um, I will leave Sister Lobby get there to take care of things. Uh, we don't need any pack animals either. 
So let's just send Sebastian and Bones. And from this site, we send over to the Fiend. Oh my god, what is that? An Odin hunt. Oh, right, of course. A giant metal beast. And with these ones, we send... Uh, we leave Sister Baguette. Take the rest because we, she can just portal through with the others when they get there. Um, take some pemmican. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is risky. You look after this. Make sure everything's fine. The others who get there, we take it apart. We send the bricks back to the castle. And then we can build the castle fully. In theory. Who's got infection? It's Gregna. I thought it might be. Um, are you lot still not able to get up? It's just camping them. I'm hoping it's distance based rather than total map base. Because if that's the case, oh my god, we got a dragon slaying epic quest. Uh is this gonna be a regular dragon, do you think? Or something different? We're not gonna know until we get there. If the fiend's power covers the entire map, even if I send in some new squad, they're just gonna get hit by it too. How can I lower? How can I lower psychic sensitivity? Unless we can light the bloody thing on fire fast. Wait, they eat? Even though they're psychotically wandering, they're still going to keep themselves alive. What I'm concerned about here is... Sarah and Scooty both have infections too. Oh my god. What I am concerned about is everybody dying horribly of infections. And I've just sent the person who can tend it over to go rob a grave. Thank god we've got those portals so that if things do get a little too desperate, we can teleport back and hopefully catch it in time. Come on. Just snap out of it, one of you. Phil's pretty far away and he's still not breaking out of it. I think we may just get a few seconds to act. Let's pray we're not on the other side of the bloody map. I hate you. I hate you, you enormous purple piece of shit. <laughs> You've totally ruined my day. I wanted to do dragon slaying, and now all of my people are being diverted to come and stop a bloody psychic moose. What the hell's the game plan, though? What do we do when they turn up? We, we blow up its eyes? Gunty can rot it. That might help out. Sirik can uh, just go for the skewer, try and finish the bloody thing off. He's gonna die. He's gonna die, and I don't think I can do anything about it. I mean, what what do we do at this point? If we could get, if we get bones over to him, if we get bones over to him quickly, we could probably probably use our immunity power to maybe fix him up. Ah, uh. <laughs> set up camp, set up camp. Okay, here, here's an idea. Here's an idea. We teleport back to the castle. Oh, this is so stupid. How has this happened? Yeah, whatever. Don't care. Go through the castle. There you go. And then let's caravan bones. We might as well send just bones at this point because Sebastian has not enough power for a portal. Um, we'll send you just by yourself. We haven't got any animals that we can send, so that's going to have to be it. Just go. I'm going to send uh, I I'm gonna send you back through the bloody portal. Um, <laughs> I suppose I'll send you with some loot. We've got to get something to show. What was that? <gasps> a staff? Oh, I like staff. I'll take that one. Um, we'll take the gold. We'll take the silver. Is there anything else? Oh, it's all bloody tainted. I can't do anything with this shit. Uh, send you with, um, the whiskey. No, very well-aged whiskey. Excellent. The ambrosia will probably do. You know what? Just take the lot. Just take the lot. You can, you can carry this, right? Take the jade up to mass. Go. And then you go through there and teleport back as soon as possible. Is... Oh, what's Sebastian doing? Yeah, whatever. Live your best life. Right, go. Caravan. No, 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 no. I don't even understand. We haven't got time for you to consume a simple meal. When I say go, I mean fucking go. Leave! Leave! God's sake! Oh, my God. And now they've immediately been stunned. They turned up and they were stunned instantly. Okay, well, it's up to these two then, isn't it? It's up to these two. Now that its powers work within a radius now, so I'm just going to send them one at a time, or at least drive it drive it angry. Come on, come on. <gasps> okay, it just did it then. Have we got a window? Have we got a window of attack? You fool. You great big moose idiot. You great big purple moose fool. Die! That's good news. That's good news. And then we hit it with the thunderbolt. Good stuff. Get a little closer. Hit with a bolt. Okay. Gazoos is out, but it's now Manhunter. Lupus, get in here. Try and freeze the bloody thing. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Snap freeze. Oh no. You actual motherfucker. I hate this thing so much. I, I hate it. I hate it with every being of my body. Turn around. Kill it. Stab this moose. I've never hated anything more in my entire life. 
Just knock it down, and then someone can walk over that. Rita's up. She's out of range. Oh my god. Uh, okay, email. <laughs> email, that's fine. Everything's okay here. The plan is, you knock it down, and then, I'm hoping, I'm praying, but I don't know with this bloody thing, that when it's knocked down, hopefully it's psychic power. Hopefully it's psychic power won't continue to function, at which point we just send Rita in to uh, do it in. And then Rita could carry Gregna over to meet the caravan, and then everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. I think everybody's gonna die, aren't they? You can summon a bug. Maybe the bug can help. Oh my god. Is she oh, her armor's broken. She's not gonna be able to do it. I think she's gonna be able to kill the bloody thing. It's so tanky. It is bleeding out in 17 hours, though. Oh, uh, so is Irina. Oh! Go. Rita. <laughs> Rita, Rita, Rita. Rita. Kill the fiend. Finish off fiend. Go. You watch it get back up before she gets to it. You watch this damn thing get back up. I dare you. I dare you. Stand back up. No. She won't get near it because of the fire. Rita. Rita. If there's ever a time you need to be brave. I mean, the fiend's probably not going to get back up because it's bleeding to death. The problem is so is Irina. Go. Go, 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 go. Finish off, finish off, finish off. Ignore the fire. Be brave. <gasps> Tend to Irina. No, uh, save Grigna. Shit, what do we do now? Oh, we could patch you up fast and then carry around out with Grigna. God, I hope this works. Go. Closest Grigna to dying. Uh, 73%. Ooh. Um, look, you've got a couple of big injuries that we could patch up fast and then caravan out. How long are you going to... 13 hours. Come on. Come on. Grigna hasn't got this kind of time. 13 hours. Oh, fuck her. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, we have to make decisions here. The hardest decisions require the strongest of wills. Oh, I could take her on the caravan, though. Rita, Grigna, Irina. How much would it slow it down? Uh, 20 tiles a day. And then we send you lot. 43. We can get 43 tiles a day. Fine. Tender on the road. Go, go, go. Meet, meet them halfway. Oh, it's not even going to be halfway, is it? It's, oh, you're going to get there a lot sooner. Go. Run, 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 run. Run! There you go. Set up camp. Oh my god, this actually might work. You enter caravan camp. Boom. Okay, Grigna. Uh, bones, dash over. Save his life. Immunity. Here we go. Oh, uh, snap him out of it. Snap him out of it. Hold on. Uh, calm Grigna. Calm Grigna. And then hit him with that. We might be able to just... Oh my god. Infection. Gazoos, gazoos, gazoos is fine. Right, are you now... Arcane immunity. 300% gain speed. Is it good enough? 83% infection spread, 56.5% immunity, 70% 10 quality. Uh, maybe also blast him with the healing power? No, we should really use it on Kazoo, shouldn't we? Okay, let's throw down... This sucks. That was the worst experience I've ever had in my life. <laughs> um, you calm Grigna. And then you can hopefully save two lives here. Go. Okay. She's good. I think... Uh, did, did, did that actually work? I mean, it seemed to have targeted her. Um, I can immunity two days. Nice. Oh, it lasts two days. That's massive. Okay. Start tending. Come on. Break out of it. Break out of it. Break out of it. Lie down. Break out of it. Lie down. No! You idiot man. Oh, my God. But it instantly healed all of the stuff, though. Look at that. Okay. Well, now we now we pray. 85%, 65% immunity. Oh, my God. It's actually going to catch up. Holy shit, it is, because it's got to get it's got 15% left to before the infection kills. It has to get up to 101% for the infection to kill. But the immunity has to get up to 100% to cancel out the infection. Look at the speed it's gaining on it. Oh my god, we may have just saved him. <gasps> he's down, he's down. Pick him up. Oh my god. I mean, this could not have happened at a worse time. After going on a tirade about how we're never going to resurrect people, to see two very good characters on the verge of horribly dying, completely out of my control. But I think we've done it. I think we've totally done it. He's going to be absolutely fine. Look, it's 89%, 85% immunity. Okay, what about the others? None of them are broken out of it, but some of you have infections. I think Sirik has an infection. Sirik's probably going to die. I'm going to be honest with you. Scooty is doing okay. Gunty is probably also going to die, to be completely blunt. That creature can fuck off. I'm never going to fight one of those again, ever, for the rest of my human life. In fact, we, we should probably caravan over there. 
Well, what's the point? Because we're not going to be able to tend them anyway. Carry their bodies back? <sighs> Go. Grigan is going to be fine. They're, like, the party's going to be fine. So we can we can travel now. We're safe to travel. Um, we're carrying a lot of shit, though. Hold on. We don't need all those granite chunks. Hold on a second. Ah, you're there. Uh, you've got all the stuff in your pocket, right? All the loot? Yeah, just pop through the portal. Go home. Uh, teleport to the castle. Good enough for me. Close the portal down. Destroy. Okay. Okay, you know what? Sebastian has earned himself a, a real a real high-tier place. He, I, I mean, he's immediately proven his usefulness. Just with that alone. Oh, my God. I do still think we're probably going to lose two people here. I think maybe Gunty and Sirik are going to die. Sebastian, have you been meditating? You've got enough mana. What's what's the chance of us? What's the chance of us getting over there with a portal in time? Uh, Because they're going to die, I think, before you can get there and you portal everyone back. We need an animal. Hold on, hold on. Okay, form caravan. Go you to there because we can't send our animals through um, through the portal. That's 130%. Take four to stacks. Four, four, to, four to sacks. Take that. Grigna Jr., send the dragon. Oh, my God! It's it's over. It's over. It's it's over, isn't it? The inn is gone. This is the end of the inn. I, I, like, the whole thing is burned down. Look at this. I presume there was a lightning storm then. Apologies. I was a little distracted with everything else happening. <sighs> right. Well, I don't know if this is going to work, but we, we might be able to do this. We send you... We send you... Now, what I'm thinking is uh, the healing potions, for whatever reason, we can't administer with an operation. Um, some sort of mod conflict somewhere, hilariously. Uh, means they have to drink it themselves to be cured. If we can get there fast enough, there's a potential that we can just have them drink their own healing potions. Jeff, forget it. This thing is gone. Just get the baby to safety. Abandon the inn. I'm just... My inn. My lovely, sweet, precious inn. The baby has flaming animals in its bedroom. This is just a, a nightmare. What are you do? I mean, are you having a are you having a laugh? You're just gonna sit there and have a snack as the whole bloody base burns down. There is a flaming lizard in the room with the baby. Rescue the baby! Stop eating the lentils! I'll never do a caravan series as long as I live. This is it. I uh, get you, Phil, because it's never happening again. I've never seen a, a group of incompetent morons. How is this even possible that they are this stupid? Well, uh, we, uh, we, could do, we could do some surgery. Take the eye out. Hold on, we have a surgery to take out eyes. Calm Scooty down. I don't know if this will work. This may be the most annoying. Come on, come on, calm him down, calm him down, calm him down. This has to work. <laughs> right, calm down. Chill. Sit, kid. Okay, I don't know where the hell you're going. Yeah, but like, calm down, though. I need you to blow up eyes, Scooty. You love blowing up eyes. Right, where are you? Who had the manky eyes? Was it Gunty? Torso, left leg. We can chop that off. Hold on. Uh, left eye, infection extreme. Zirik. Zirik, I have operation for you. Don't worry. And... Bazinga. Infection cured. <laughs> okay, so now all we've got to do is try and save Gunty. This is really just polishing a turd, isn't it? Oh my god. Uh, right, right, okay, 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 hold on. Uh, heal root. Get me enough to do some operations. Select similar harvest. There was a potion on the map. Uh, tend him, tend him, tend him. Where's the potion? Free loot potion. Free loot potion. Uh, show me. It's right there. It's on fire! This is just the most chaotic thing I've ever done in my whole life. <laughs> calm him. If you calm him now, you've saved his life. Oh, but it only, it will only turn one. Ah! Double fur, better signs, bones was destroyed. Well, that's bloody good we got the baby out of there then, presuming what that would imply, huh? Um, where is the inn? Is it alright? Oh yeah, it looks great. Oh yeah, like everything. Like, the only building left standing is this one. Really glad I evacuated. How are we looking? 28% infection, 76% immunity. I presume Grigna, Grigna's totally fine. This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh look, they're all starting to break out. Gunty! Gunty, 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 where's the potion? Where's the potion? Where's the potion? I hold this potion. A crib assigned to bones. Junior was destroyed. Very ominous. Very ominous in every, any other situation. Go drink. Hold that potion. Hold that potion. Which do you prefer? You like it or your torso? Oh my god, please tend the torso, though. Gunsy's infection was cured. My god, you're telling me there's a chance. 
Uh, worst case scenario, we could soul bond him to something. Have we got any animals here? We've got a, we've got a thrombo. Soul bond yourself to that thrombo. Nobody's gonna die today. I don't know how the hell I've done it, but nobody's gonna die today. No, 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 that's the wrong person. Wait, well, Rita can do it. Rita doesn't have enough mana. Oh, shit. We can still probably pull this off, though, if we're fast at meditation. Rita, go. Meditate non-stop. I don't care how you do it. I don't care why you do it. Just just meditate. Take an herbal medicine. That's not what I asked. Um, let's just try and chop the log off. The, the, the log off? Uh, try and chop the leg off temporarily. Lose your leg. Lose your leg. Lose your leg. Uh, remove pelvis. That's not going to help right now. Amputate left leg. Done. Lie down. Lose your leg. No. Don't tend to gun. See, I don't think we're. I don't think I'm making any sense here. I need you to lie down. Best surgery chance is Risa, right? I, even that's uh, probably very questionable. Go. Operate on Gunsy. Take that leg. Gunsy is actually going to be fine. Holy crap. Uh, bear in mind that was a person who just got regular tending, but I think you're actually going to be okay. It's going to be close though. Uh, is everyone else fine? Bones is good. Green is good. Risa's fine. Phil's fine. Sirik needs his eyes tending. They were both burnt out mysteriously. Uh, Gunsy's fine. No, 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 Gunsy's not fine. Scooty's fine. Gunsy's in a problem. Uh, Kazoos is fine, but needs tending again. But does have that arcane immunity, so should be fine. Holy shit, no one's gonna die today. I promise you. No one is gonna die today, especially you, Gunsy. Give me a leg. Well, you have the you have the potion, right? Oh my god, but I've just anesthetized him. Shit. I probably didn't need to do that then. Oh my god, I bet he would have been fine. Where's the potion? You, uh, you bought it on uh, bought it on the, the dragon. The dragon's got it. Dragon, drop the potion. I need to borrow that a second. We might be able to administer it, but I'm, I'm fairly certain that Rimmed Evil, uh, the thing that removes futuristic rewards is removing them because they are just reskinned. Healer mech serums, isn't that a problem? Uh, healing potion, yep. Go set, up a, go set up a portal for us. You go and meditate. I don't care where, just go find somewhere. Take that leg. Surgery failed. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, you seem, you seem to not understand. Amputate leg. Do it again. Like, do it again. No, 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 no. Operate. No medicine. Oh, Christ. What the hell do we do now? Bones? I wonder if we can get enough mana with bones to speed up the... Oh, it won't matter, though, will it? You know I said no one's going to die today? I think someone's going to die today. I don't think there's anything else I can do at this point. Can we... <sighs> medicine? How? How? But, but we cut down so much heal root. How have we used it all? Uh, well, you've got some in your pocket. You've got some in your pocket. Everybody should have some in their pocket. Because I told everybody to carry medicine. We've got enough for one more attempt. Holy shit, this is going to be bloody close to the line, but I'll give it another go. What else helps with surgery? Uh, light, and that's probably about the only thing I could do for us right now. Torch lamp? Oh, we need wood. Um, how fast can you chop down a tree is probably the better question. <laughs> go. Harvest that tree fast. I feel like in hindsight, a better use of her time might have just been having her meditate. Is it, is it too late to do that? Yeah, no, we are not going to get anywhere near, are we? Well, <laughs> there you go. There's the wood. Did it make any difference? Oh, did she actually just do it? Uh, maybe no treatment needed. Uh, sorry, maybe no no treatment's definitely needed. Maybe no torch needed. Sirik has been patched up by Scooty, so Sirik is doing absolutely fine. I just want to double check. Please stop that. You're scaring me. Uh, but I just want to double check that everybody's fine now. Uh, no, no, no. Start with Bones. Bones is good. Shouldn't have taken any damage, so it doesn't matter. Grigna has developed an immunity. Reese is fine. Phil's fine. Sirik's fine. Scooty has also developed an immunity. Gunty's fine. Gazoos has developed an immunity, but does need treatment. Uh, Rita, if you could get on that one, friend. Uh, Lupus, totally fine. Sebastian should be meditating, ready to get us a portal to freedom. Who's on death's door? Gazoos. Oh, we're working on it. Wait, why are you on death's door? What, because of the... Oh, because you've just hit extreme blood loss. Got it. Okay. You'll be fine, though. You're not actually at death's door. Sebastian, get us home. For God's sake, get us home. I'm so done with this place. <laughs> and with the rest of them, we should just be able to get the travel supplies and head off. That was a, that was just a nightmare situation. But of course, not everybody is fine. There was a casualty today, and that casualty was apparently A, a job going mad and smashing some of the signs up, which is very annoying. B, the poor in. The poor sweet in. Totally burned out. Just totally destroyed. We've got to go get Blue Rose, Greenland's original axe to safety. We, we, we managed to save, oh, I say one of the rooms didn't burn down, but everything else is just totally gone. Just completely burnt out. It's, that's awful. It really is awful. Like a single person wasn't able to put the fires out with all of that. I don't think there's much we could have done there. Again, I presume it was a lightning strike, but I have no idea. It, I think it only could have been a lightning strike. Well, 
Well, I guess that's that. We'll go and collect our sky shards and, and scrounge up all of the remaining stuff tomorrow, reinstall some things, but I guess we're just going to expand out the castle. We might have to forget about the guests. But you know what? Everybody survived, and I'm taking that as an absolute success. Thank you for joining me today. Tomorrow, we're going to have to salvage the inn, and maybe, just maybe, we could find that first Grignison artifact, something that is, is eventually going to be our victory condition, right? Thank you in the meantime, of course, to Silver, Summer Haruka, Michael Bolt, Tragen, Omega, Christopher Peck, Sabine, Shadow Hill, Selfish Ghost, Lord Gator, I am Sagatair, Super Awesome Goku, Vash, Jurgen, Sweetsy, Some Idiot Guy, Liddiz, Tungsten Heart, Mithrin, Hanky Spanky, Will, Ooh, David Turner, Cosmo Senti, Heathen, Bluffocus666, Sideshow C, Twee Panda, and D's Nuts for their support over on patreon thank you all for being there thank you for hopefully enjoying the series and lots of new content coming very soon should be uh, an episode out two hours after this of of the first return to not only crusader king story but of course the elder king so i hope you look forward to that one thank you as well to nidus juan pablo pepito peter elsom inari chain gurguric extrash loquet 217 Quera Datus, Amazing Moosh, Obi4 Ken, Tsubasa, Sondre, Jose Asala, Yolo Ninja, 10,000 pounds of flax, Patman the Man Pat, Whispering Egg, Maximus555, Geb, Duncan Dusa, Vic Rose, Berbermancer, Sunset, Brambio, Nora Mac, Just Mess, Mandatory Martin, Coco Botia, and Arasol as well. See you all tomorrow.